wanted the American people to know that the embargo is not hurting the government of Cuba, but the people who live there. You know, look at this conditions that they live in. So I just wanted to bring that to an attention, if I can, you know. So, format? Oh, I use Canon. It's in, um, it's all digital. Yeah, I don't do a whole lot of uh, Photoshop, so what you see is pretty much what I have. Oh, about maybe as a hobby for 20, 25 years, but I retired about four years ago, so um, I started just concentrating on photography now. Well, what really got me started was the kids. You know, when you have children, you follow them, and then um, my daughter used to dance, so I used to take dance photographs and stuff. But um, after I retired, what I took was, um, well, mostly flowers and nature, but decided to take a photography class. So I went to a Ventura College, and then I've so far taken about, what, six or seven classes. And then I realized there's a whole lot more to photography than what you just see. So now I'm actually having fun and have some tools in my, you know, so-called um, photographer's toolbox, right? So I'm actually having fun now. Um, what other shows, what do you have plans in the future? Well, I have actually, in, next month I'll be showing it, or hanging in the wall, the coffee shop. Um, sorry, I forgot the name, but it's in the Walgreens, I'm mean, not Walgreens, uh, Woolworth, old Woolworth building. There's a nice coffee shop with a really big span of walls. So I'll have pictures there probably for a couple of months. And we're looking for some place in Ventura. And I'd like to show the pictures of Cuba that I saw. So that's, I'd like to do that. And I'm making some um, books, so hopefully I can do something with that too. Do you have a website or something? Right now it's being rebumped, so I don't have anything that I can send you to. <laughs> but yeah, I will have something probably three to four weeks. I've got some things on Facebook. And with Tommy Murphy. Yeah, T O M I Murphy. I'm David Gallup. I'm uh, a painter and I'm uh, interested especially in underwater subjects. I uh, started scuba diving a couple of years ago. And since that time, uh, it's just been a subject that's really taken over for me. I've gotten uh, real interested in it and it seems to be something that, that people haven't done extensively. So um, this is me to, you know, trying to bring this out to the public. Actually, um, I'm not the kind of photographer that I could probably take the photos that I would need for this sort of stuff. So what I do is I just go out in nature and I have these experiences. Um, I, I go take a dive trip or a boat trip or whatever, and, um, and then I find inspiration out in nature and either paint on location or in the case of the underwater pieces, I come back and I work in the studio from the experiences that I had there. Yeah, I'm working exclusively in oil. I have been painting my whole life, and I learned to scuba dive about two years ago, and I've been doing, uh, you know, almost exclusively underwater paintings for the last year. Uh, Claude Monet, um, John Henry Twachman, uh, Joaquin Soroya, um, those are main ones. So classic, uh, classic French and American Impressionism. Um, it's. Uh, it's the kind of career that rewards people who are uh, risk takers, who are innovators. So uh, don't chase what's being done out there, but actually, uh, you know, really find your own vision and pursue that with courage. And, and uh, that's the kind of thing that gets rewarded. I do, yeah. It's uh, dgallup.com, uh, which is my signature, D, and then G-A-L-L-U-P.com. 
Hi, uh, my name is Marissa Lopez, and I'm uh, the owner and an artisan here at Downtown Seoul, which is on the corner of 3rd and C Street in downtown Oxnard. And for Art Beat this month, we had a film screening of an untold triumph um, highlighting uh, the work of Filipino Americans um, during World War II and all, all of the amazing things that they were able to accomplish and some of the things that they had to go through. Um, what we do here at Downtown Seoul is we have, uh, we try to be a, a multicultural gallery. Um, we have lots of local artists, different film screenings, different events. We have art classes. We've, we've been open for about eight months. Um, we have about 43 different artists and artisans, of course, from traditional art um, to modern art. We try to make it somewhat affordable for, for everybody to appreciate, and at least you can come in and check it out. Uh, we've got ceramics and um, crafty kind of things to lots of beautiful jewelry, including what I'm wearing right now. So hopefully um, you can come and check it out and see some of our upcoming events. We have on uh, June 15th, we're highlighting the opening of Dr. Priscilla Partridge Garcia, some amazing watercolors. Um, paintings that she have, has, and on the 22nd, uh, we have another Epoca de Oro film from the 1920s and 30s in Mexico um, that will be showing upstairs as well. So if you get a chance, come and check us out at Downtown Seoul, corner of 3rd and C Street in Oxnard. Uh, art show, graffiti slash, I'll, it's mostly graffiti, I guess, and um, just a bunch of local artists around the city. And we got Isaac over here if you want to follow me. Is that a steady cam? That's cool. Um, Isaac over here. Isaac over here did this right here. It's graffiti that's supposed to be Adidas. As you can see, the three cans, but it says graffiti. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's tight. <laughs> and um, my friend over here loves this. We all love to spray paint when we were younger and stuff. So we got this right here, spray painting. And um, Isaac did this right here. This part is. Uh, how do you describe that right there, dude? I don't know. It was more or less of a idea of a, a oil paint holder, sort of. But um, it was a it was actually like a vision for my oil painting. But then um, I just made it into a skull where it can hold. Um, the paints and the brushes and yeah I got these for sale and I'm working on an artism clothing line it's um artism clothing it's for uh, yeah the definition for artism I started oil paints probably two months ago and the shirts, we did them actually like two days ago. And yesterday, we actually completed them. And um, yeah, pretty much it. Do you have a website where people get in touch with you? Um, not yet. It's coming soon. Or a Facebook? Yeah, I have a Facebook. Um, it's facebook.com um, slash Ice Roman. That's I C E R O M A N. And um, yeah, you can find me on there. I do, I'm starting up my art. Good stuff. Good work. Thank you. So, um, what would you say to inspire artists? What would people who want to do art, what would, kind of tips can you give them? Pretty much just stay focused. Just um, if you have a vision, put it out there. Um, get a canvas, just lay it down with a pencil, and then as and if you have paints, just start start painting it. Just throw in the colors. You should interview this guy over here. And okay. so check it out over here. That's mine. Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Check this one. This one over here. This, this guy rides BMX. Oh, okay. This guy is a BMXer. He's really good. And then that guy over there, he owns a clothing brand called Sean Soros. It's all those t-shirts over here. These are here. These t-shirts were designed by my Johnson, John Sars, 
and Ben, he rides bikes for a, he's the BMXer, and I'm the filmer, so. Oh, did you submit that to the, uh, those Not this video, but like the other video, that yeah, yeah. Like Thanks, dude, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Canon, the, that Canon over there, that's what I film with the Canon T2i, and I edit with Adobe After Effects. It's cool, it's simple, it's fun. I carried it in that backpack right there all the time with a skateboard and a backpack. I'm always all over the city just doing it. I remember they didn't want to give it a prize and they ended up giving it to Yeah, you. that's <laughs> right. It's cool though, I mean, I was just happy that they put my video in there and I got to show people. It's cool, yeah. Yeah, it's fun though. And these are behind the scenes from a video, it's cool. And then my friend Thaddeus over here, he does paintings too. Thaddeus, you gotta get interviewed. Interviews? This guy does like the best, some of the best paintings. Can you tell me a little bit about your work with us? What's going on here? study all from imagination uh, using acrylic layer upon layer building up layers on it so how long you been doing this two years two years two years trying to do it professionally what are your inspirations your inspirations is my mind I guess I don't, I don't really have that many people I look up to as an inspiration I like to be as original as possible. So, um, do you get an idea of uh, what do you get from a picture? Or you just, uh, just a collection of thoughts in my mind. Just end up building a composition of a... Uh, building a composition and then uh, sketching it out. A lot, of, a lot of sketching and then... But stuff like this just off the top of the head. So, um, what would you say to us people who want to get into art? Be original. Uh, don't give up and just keep trying. Where do I live by? Do you have a, a Facebook or a website? Yeah, uh, thattailoredart.com. Uh, Facebook.com slash thattailoredart. You can find all the links to everything else inside of the plan. Great. Yeah. yeah, no problem. took a class in photography and ever since then you know I kind of like had you know kind of a knife for photography I didn't really you know take a lot of college classes you know it's just like what I see what I see around um, that looks nice the angles I use and 